Okay, good morning. Today I am back with an another video. Today my video is I will upgrade my stock music system to an Android stereo head unit. I have purchased this Nippon 9 Pro Plus which I have purchased from a great Indian Amazon sale. This is a 9 inch Android tablet. Here you have the warranty card and instruction manual. This is the tablet. The build quality is very good. And why I went for Nippon, let me tell you that. Because Nippon is a branded supplier and it was once an OEM supplier of Maruti Suzuki. And there is a good network of after sales service. That was also another reason why I chose this and it is a t5 based unit it has 2 gb of ram and 32 gb of rom so that is sufficient for my purpose because i won't be installing any additional apps or anything like that so only the stock apps are more than enough for me these are the connectors that you that comes with it the gps antenna and external mic these are the Stereo couplers. Fitting this, you need a stereo frame. Stereo frames. Normally, these Android tablets are universal. You can install it in any car. Only the Android uh, tablets are universal. You can uh, fix it in any car. Only the main thing is your installation frame. So for Honda City, I have purchased this installation frame from the market. Uh, and most of the frames of Honda City are 10 inch so I have to purchase a adapter for this this is a 9 inch adapter now first I will fix it over here and these are the stereo couplers it will be a coupler to coupler fitting so here you need to fit four screws screws that has been supplied by the manufacturer but over tighten it because these are plastic frames so i have fitted it with to the frame successfully now the next job will be to remove the old stereo from the car move it towards you first need to open this okay This is your uh, hazard coupler, you first need to remove this. Now here are three couplers, one, two, three. So you have to remove them one by one. there is a lock so this is the main stereo okay so this is the other one so this unit i have removed from the earlier stereo now the main part will be to installing the new one here are all the couplers this is the gps antenna now let me see where i want to place the gps antenna somebody place the gps antenna hidden 
but I will suggest you to go for in this position. This will give you the best possible GPS signals and place it over here. Let us fit the main couplers. This is for the radio antenna. This is for the radio antenna. This is something else. I will find it out. Okay. Hazard switch. I think this is the OEM USB. It is mentioned which uh, connection will go to which number of sockets. So this one will be for your main power ok. Now let me fix up the USB 1 and 2. So this is USB 1 is number 7 it will be for this connector connection. So the reverse will be number 5 so this is your reverse connection now the so USB 1 will be number 7 so where is number 7 this just this one Finally, I have fitted the Android head unit. 
and it has perfectly blended with the decor of the car this particular piano black finish looks great and doesn't feel that it is an additional external unit i have placed the mic over here you can place it to a different location i will need to tie it up with the zip tie and the usbs are here here are the usbs hidden inside the glove box so this is your head unit and here like any android there are the apps these are the apps you are having and here you have a t-link unit with which you can use android auto and everything you have youtube you have google you have maps separate maps is also installed in this system i will give you a full demonstration and overview of this particular unit now fixing this particular switch is little bit a tricky one because there is a plastic cover below there so you need to cut that so that it works well otherwise it won't fit properly so that is a hidden trick which the uh, installers won't tell you and the you see the touch is very fluid very fluid since it is having 2 gb and 32 gb and it's t5 processor so you need not worry up there is no lag at all so stay tuned friends for a full demonstration and of this particular android head unit so if you want to install a android head unit in a honda city it is very simple and you can do it if you have little bit of some technical idea and some basic tools is needed to open that and i have shown everything in the video and if you find the video useful please do subscribe and if you have any comments regarding this android head unit feel free to contact me in the comment section below thank you very much and goodbye